All right, let's see. Look right here. Don't, don't look right at the lens. And now we're going to hope that... CCTV. I'm doing the music, too. I'm Elsa Dorfman, and I was born in the Mount Auburn Hospital in 1937, and my parents lived in Dorchester and in Roxbury, so I didn't grow up in Cambridge. But my whole life, my mother would go by the Mount Auburn Hospital and say, you were born there. And then she would say, and I sat out on that porch and watched the Harvard crew. I went to Tufts. And then I worked in New York, and that was where I met some very wonderful people like Allen Ginsberg and Jack Kerouac and Robert Creeley and Robert Bly, and I arranged poetry readings for these people. New York was very sort of arty and chaotic, and I moved back to Boston and went to BC to be an elementary school teacher, the most unlikely thing in the world for me to do. <laughs> the parents in my class pulled me aside and said, you don't belong here. <laughs> and told me about this research program at MIT that was called Educational Services, Inc., and they did curriculum development. The idea was they paired up scientists and teachers, and I worked there with wonderful scientists adapting curriculum materials for uh, elementary schools. And that was where I picked up a camera. So this camera was built in around 1976 by Edwin Land. He had his tool shop make four of these cameras, and this is number four, one after another. Each one slightly different than the other. I came on the scene about two years after he had invented this, and I was very lucky because at that point they were letting local artists, because Polaroid was a local company, use the camera. And so I used the camera on, the first time was January 8th of 1980. And I, I took pictures of Allen Ginsberg, who was in visiting me, and I loved it. I loved it no more darkroom. I just loved everything about it. And so from 1980 to 1987, I would rent the camera. It was at the Museum of Fine Arts, and then it was at Polaroid, and then it was at the museum school. I would rent the camera and bring people to take their pictures. All right, I think this is going to work. Finally, they let me have the camera because I had paid thousands of dollars for it, hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. Every picture is a miracle. So much can go wrong with this camera, especially now. You know, it's old, and there aren't the people to keep it in tip-top condition the way there were when Polaroid was a functioning company. Okay, so and now it, I'm pulling down the negative. Don't move much. Did you move much? I did. You did? A little. All right, you're okay. Okay. No, don't laugh like that. I'm loving it. All right, okay. Now, don't look at me. Look at the lens. The light isn't going off. Why is that? Not only that. All Polaroid film is gone, and the only original Polaroid film that exists now is the film for this camera. If you can't buy Polaroid film, even, even on eBay. Sonomama is a, a Japanese phrase that seemed to capture my sort of approach to taking people's portraits, and that was um, taking people exactly the way they are or the way they seem when they're in front of you, I don't do anything except let them be. So I, I have nothing to do with it except to try to create an environment that isn't perfect, that's comfortable, that looks like it won't matter if you move this chair or that chair or you wear this or you wear that or where you can come in and just commune with the camera. Look right at the lens. Oh my God. 
All right, so that's it. They don't make ready to load color film anymore. I have maybe eight boxes of film. When I'm out of that eight boxes of film, there'll be no more. So now, and now I'm going to peel it apart. And here, oh, the pod fell out somewhere. Here's the picture. And here it is. By the time this is, I probably will have my uh, digital camera.